Hey, John with Carb Haters, and on this little video, I'm doing a little screencast of the Food Data Central area of the Department of Agriculture for the USDA. And what this is, is a place that you can go and type in whatever food that you want, and a lot of manufacturers have put their branded products on here as well and you can type in that little search bar right there for whatever it is that you want to look for for any of the nutrients found in the food the carbohydrates fiber you know your macros and um, any kind of vitamins that might be in it if you're curious now here's the thing is that when we use things like the carb manager uh, app on our phone they're using something now if we look at the screen here so they're using something called an API. Now I don't know that particular app or I don't really know any of the other apps what specific area they're pulling all that info from. But you ever wonder how these apps know like well, how many um, carbohydrates are in an avocado or a banana or how many are in this pancake mix, this keto. How, how do they even know all that stuff? Well, because they're probably what they really are, what they're doing is they're plugging in their software, their app, into a website like this, a database, and they're pulling it from a database. So see there's the API, that's what allows them to connect their app to something like this and use the database. Now you can use the database as well if you want. So you go to this website right here, which I'll post a link to below, and you can bookmark it. And then you can just type something in here. So let's just take for example banana. All right. Now we all know that bananas are a little higher on the carbohydrate area of um, of like if you're on a, a keto diet or something, bananas are usually off limits unless you eat them unripened. So if they're dark green, then the sugar content won't be so high and it's actually resistant starch in that way. But if you're on a moderate low carb diet or if you have certain days that you have a higher carb limit and other days are lower then you know can you eat a banana well let's see you know how does that kind of work so let, we go here I'll type in banana and what you'll see here is a few different um, options so banana and there's nectar whipped bake you can click on raw and sometimes I'll have like up here will be um, like a brand, this is branded, so maybe a company has a certain kind of um, banana mix or banana something. But if you see one that's like a raw food you're looking for, it says raw, I usually click on that. And then you'll also see type. And type over here is this survey or SR legacy. So if you wanna know what those are, that's over in this sidebar area where you can filter things. And you can click on this right here and it'll tell you about the different ones right there. So it really doesn't matter with banana, like I've already clicked on them and it's the same information, but let's go ahead and click on it. So banana raw, and you can see it says for 100 grams is going to be about 23 grams of carbs and about two and a half grams of fiber. So you know you can do your net carbs based off of that. You take the 23 minus 2.5 and you get your net grams. Now, when we look at a banana, we're not usually looking at the total weight, right? We're just looking at, well, hey, I got a banana. What, what is that? So you can do a, a little bit of figuring on there, which isn't too difficult. Sometimes you can just click this and all these will drop down. And depending on which one you're looking at, there'll be a little bit different options. So, you know, let's just say I went to the grocery store and I got, a, I, I know that I, I want to be low carb, so I got a small banana. Okay, so a small banana would be 23 grams of carbohydrates and the fiber in it is roughly 2.5. So if I take my 23 minus 2, oops, 23 minus 2.5, so that's about 20 and a half grams, we'll say 21 grams. So that's 21 grams of net carbs that we're looking at. Um, probably not something that you would want, especially on a keto diet, but even on a moderate low carb diet, and when I say moderate, that's like 50 to 80 grams, maybe tops 100 grams for the day. But uh, even then that can start adding up. But if you wanted to do, let's say a smoothie, like we do smoothies at the house, 
and when we make a smoothie we'll use maybe a small banana and then it's chopped up into thirds basically because we end up making three cups of smoothie and I have one, my wife has one, and my son has one. So you take that 21, divide it by three, and you're at about seven grams of net carbs. So that's how you know we kind of factor in banana and I usually try to get more of the green banana so even then it's less than that. But that's how this kind of works here. So let's look at another one. So let's look at coconut flour because I want to show you something here. So with coconut flour, you can see there's different ones here and basically we have to click on one of these branded. Okay, so we'll click on this one and 100 grams and if we do our drop down, it's only showing tablespoons are the only option that you have or 100 grams. So if, if you want to, if you have a scale at home, you can weigh. So two tablespoons, all right, is going to be nine grams total uh, and then five grams of fiber so net carbs is four grams well we know that two tablespoons there's 16 if you want to know how much in a cup there's 16 grams I'm sorry there's uh, 16 tablespoons in one cup so since this is two tablespoons we just take the 16 grams and divide it by two so that's eight so I'll be um, we'd have to multiply then this number times eight and sorry if that's confusing for you but just basically you know there's 16 like I said there's 16 tablespoons in a cup so since this is showing two tablespoons we divide that by two to get the number eight so whatever this net carb count is so which will be four so we take four times eight and that is uh, 32 right Did I say that right let's see um, and four yes times eight so it's 32 so roughly 32 grams of net carbs in the, in um, one cup of coconut flour. Here's the thing to watch for though. This is just a guide, okay? Because I've taken um, packaging, you know, I'll, I'll get a packaging of coconut flour and I'll look at what it says and it will say how many total carbs and how many net or how many how much fiber is in it and I'll subtract it and that number will be slightly different than what you might see here and I say, I always go by the package whatever the package says cuz they're supposed to test those things with the manufacturer and everything before that goes out so this is a general um, idea if you wanted to know so like check this out so we could go um, let me just click on food central right there Let's just type in keto there's a keto pancake waffle mix. Let's click on that. Okay, so food category, it's branded. Brand owner is Birch Benders. So if you're doing this, if you have this keto mix, and you can see for like two pancakes, they say roughly you're getting five net carbs per uh, two pancakes. Anyways, you can use a this website if you ever want to search for any kind of um, nutrients, by the way, I didn't even show you. So if we go down, this one doesn't show a lot, but let's go back to our banana real quick. Okay, here's our banana. And when we scroll down, you can see fructose, lactose, the starch, how much iron, magnesium. These are all the micronutrients, right? Macronutrients, fat, carbs, and protein micronutrients will be like your vitamins and everything so you can see for that food what all is in it and interestingly enough so when we did when I did this um, extra small banana and I took the carbs and I minused out and figured out the net carbs I went ahead and um, looked at the carb manager app for 100 grams of a banana and that came out to show basically the same as this right here about 20 grams of net carbs so you can see this app is probably pulling data from this API because it's pretty much the same I don't know for sure we could always contact the app developer but anyways I wanted to show you this because it's just a little key information if you're on a low carb diet. It's good to know where to go to find information. Some websites will say certain things are a certain amount of grams 
And for example, I just released in um, I released a PDF for our low carb flours and maybe some paleo flours that may, you might want to use in your baking. And I gave a general guideline of about how many net carbs are in each of those flours. But I mentioned in there you got to check the packaging because it's not always the same. So. You know, when you see one website says something so many so many grams and another website says something different, come here and then this will give you your general area to kind of go off of. That's kind of a statistical and you know that there's been some kind of research done to it. All right, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in another one.